Well, I'm retired now and I'm a musician um, and an uh, artist and a filmmaker, but I used to run as a then for the College of Music. I had an eight-year-old daughter and I wanted her to, uh, I knew I had to settle down, stop living, because I'd travelled and lived all over the world. Um, so when I bought my house, I was 41 and I've lived in 31 houses. If you're a musician in Hexham, you could be out every single day, every single night, playing music with people or going to listen to music. So there's a really big musical tradition here and it's not just traditional music, it's all sorts of music. It's about 10 or 15 years ago that uh, whether there was something about a fixed view about what women should look like, which I didn't conform to in, a, in any way, whatever, uh, that grown men would insult me um, in the city and young men would insult me here. And it went on and on for years and years and years. So people used to be really offensive to me. Not just in Hexham, it happened in Newcastle as well. There was always men and I was the object of people's uh, uh, anger really. There were these young men were really angry. I don't regard myself as a victim, but in a proper sense of the word, I was. So I used to, in the morning, think about how I was going to cross the park, because I live on the park, because that's where they used to congregate. So it was whether that day I could face it, it determined which way I went to work. Mm. So it was proper bullying, really. And I knew there was no point trying to fight back because sex was such a small place, they knew where I lived. I'm quite a public figure because of the work that I did, because of my music, because of everything. So that's an example of a small town mentality, which is the other side of living in a small town where everybody is very supportive and it's wonderful. And so, you found this community of musicians and artists. I wonder if there's one time that stands out in your mind uh, where there's like, oh, that show was such a beautiful experience. Like that night of that show, it was such a, a communal, wonderful, beautiful experience. When I think about what happened here at the Queen's Hall, and this core music place decided it was going to put on a, an annual concert for its birthday. We were invited to, to play as part of this concert, and there were over a hundred musicians that night performing in different slots. We all had 10 minutes and it was all terribly you know, like well organised so that it couldn't go on all night. But the people in the audience were family, friends, music goers, people who come to the Queen's Hall. It was completely sold out. Um, they asked me to be the MC and I just love doing stuff like that. And it was such an exciting night because it was a real expression of a community of music. Everybody comes together regardless of who they are, what they, they do.